Hi, my name is Yuri Shishkov. I work at Fender Custom Shop. I'm a senior master builder. I uh, work at Fender for nine years, build guitars for over 20 years. Uh, throughout my career, I build guitars for many famous and not very famous artists. Among famous uh, people like Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, uh, Groups Monthly Crew, uh, uh, Nina Bittencourt, uh, Dan Bagdarrell, just a lot of guys. Uh, I had the privilege to work with them. And today, what I'd like to show you is a little trick that I do when I adjust the uh, tremolo on guitar. It's either something like this, American Standard Strat, uh, can be with the Floyd Rose. And I think anybody at home can do that without special tools, without special equipment, which will be probably only required something like guitar tuner, uh, a screwdriver, um, you can use a string winder. Uh, there is a couple of pieces of material that you will need to do that, and I'll talk to the, about them in a second. And uh, what I try to show you is uh, something that a lot of people face when they either simply just change the strings, especially when they, they change the gauge on the strings, uh, or just simply, you know, guitar that they bought and it was not properly set up. And what I'm talking about is the level of the bridge. And uh, you can show, for example, on this instrument, if you look at the bridge, uh, for instance, here you look at the level and you would like to have it, for example, parallel to the body or just slightly forward. Uh, you can get guitar when it looks like this or it looks like completely like that. And I'll show how to adjust this with the minimum of effort because, as you know, when you try to tune your, uh, tune your guitar, the bridge starts moving forward or in opposite direction. Uh, to keep it in place and tune guitar quickly is not sometimes an easy task. It takes some time. Uh, right now, we can do it, well, I'll show you how to do it really fast. So what you will need, as I said, the screwdriver, a uh, string winder if you want, a tuner, you need amp, and uh, I'm going to use a couple of pieces of material. In this case, it's a piece of rubber and uh, wood veneer. You can use something that, uh, put it this way, um, durable but soft enough so it wouldn't damage the finish on guitar, uh, even like a cardboard, some, some kind of uh, plastic piece like a ruler or something. Uh, any material you can find around the house, and, you know, something that is, you know, not so necessary to go and buy in store. So let's start with uh, simply looking at what I have right here. And what I got, guitar is not in tune. And first step would be to bring the bridge all the way down as close as possible to the body, but not touching it. And what I like to do is first I'm going to uh, loose the strings on it to help to do that. And if you look at the bridge, it's just moving slowly down. When I get in close, for example, like this. Now, let's see. I, for example, want the bridge to be at this level. First I put a piece of rubber, then I'm going to put a veneer. Remember, it needs to be not really soft material because if it's really soft, it's, gonna, it's not going to stay in one spot. It's going to flex. You want it to be firm. So I want my bridge to look like this. So my next step is to get around. And these two screws that adjust the tension on the springs I gonna tie it pretty much almost to the end, but not quite. You have to kind of remember the sequence because it's really easy to do. At the same time, it's really easy to get all the you know process messed up. Okay. The next step would be tune guitar. You got tuner 
and uh, If you notice that uh, the bridge will start moving up and all these pieces come loose, you simply just turn it around and adjust the screws, tighten them more, and make sure that it's not going anywhere when you're tuning guitar. You want it to be in exactly the same spot where you started, okay? can check. Okay. It looks like it's still in the same spot. It didn't go anywhere. So what we do now? Really easy task. You go back and you move your screws, adjust them. In opposite direction. You loosen them. At the same time, what you want to do, you want to keep an eye on the tuner and see if it's going out of tune. I mean, it's going to the lower key. The goal is to make these pieces like this fall down by itself. When they did, you look at the bridge stay in the same spot where it was before. There's no hassle. It was really fast adjustment. Uh, you can apply this to a Floyd Rose tremolo. You can use different blocks. Again, remember, don't use anything really soft. Just something hard, but uh, not uh, easy to damage the finish on your guitar. That's it.